So this segment, let's go ahead and talk about a principle known as Le Chatelier's principle, which is very much um, intertwined in the concept of chemical equilibrium. Um, so let's go ahead and define it first. So basically, when you have a change in your system, be it in concentration, pressure, or temperature, um, at when your system is at equilibrium and you impose these changes, then the position of the equilibrium is going to shift in a direction that tends to reduce the effect of that change. It's kind of like a push-pull kind of a thing. Okay, so I said concentration, pressure, and temperature are the main factors that influence the equilibrium position. Um, pressure is related to um, volume as well, and so I'll discuss that quickly at the end, how those two are related in terms of Le Chatelier's principle. So another way to kind of like state this is that if you think of a reaction, you have reactants and products, when the reactant or the product or a product is added to the system that's already at equilibrium, then the system shifts away from that added component. Right, because the system, the tendency is to want to remain at equilibrium, so it will do whatever it has to do in order to maintain that state. Um, so similar to what I just said, if a reactant or product is removed, then the system shifts towards the removed component, again to try to reestablish the equilibrium position. So um, I said that the changes that are associated with the system that can invoke Le Chatelier's principle are temperature, um, pressure, and concentration. Um, and so how are pressure and volume then related? Um, is that if you think about it, something's getting bigger, right? So the volume is increasing. That means that there's a decrease in pressure, right? There's a lot more space in the system um, versus if the volume is decreasing, then the pressure is going to increase. Less space, more pressure. Um, so these guys are inversely related. So when you're thinking about Le Chatelier's principle and applying it, if it asks you something about um, volume, remember that volume or pressure, remember how they're related so that you can solve the problems. And that's basically the definition of Le Chatelier's principle.